Some breaking transfer news. Alexis McAllister is a Liverpool player uh, for 35 million quid. Liverpool have got, I think, deal of the summer. This is the best piece of transfer business I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about Alexis McAllister, why I think it's such a good transfer, where it leaves Liverpool going into next season. Uh, and of course, plenty more uh, as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We'll be covering the Champions League. Uh, I'm currently in a hotel somewhere in the world, uh, wherever the Champions League final may be being played. Um, let's talk about Liverpool. Overall, Liverpool have to address their midfield situation. Oxley chamberlain was a flop. Naby Keita was a flop. I'm beginning to think Thiago Alcantara is a bit of a flop. At least gets injured too, much, too many times. Of course, James Milner... Uh, is leaving the building. They need two or three last summer. Uh, they needed two and many. They needed Jude Bellingham, if that was an option, which obviously wasn't. It was hard. They needed that last summer. Now, at least Liverpool and their owners have addressed an issue early in this transfer window a year later. Alexis McAllister is one of the best midfielders in the league. He, he made a lot of uh, people's team uh, sort of teams of the season. Uh, I think he made mine, actually. Um... His all-round play reminds me, if you're a Liverpool fan, let me know in the comments down below if this is a gas a shout or not, of Genie Wijnaldum. When he left Newcastle, he's kind of guiding Newcastle at the table. He's their best player by country mile. Um, and he goes to Liverpool and he's just an all-round technically superb player. Can obviously pop up with a goal. He's not a one-in-two kind of midfielder. He isn't crazy numbers, Genie Wijnaldum. But he could pop up with an important goal, pop up with important passes in the final third. Worked so hard off the ball. I think Alexis McAllister is very, very similar to Genie Wijnaldum in that regard. Obviously, he's got maybe a little more physicality about him. Um, but we, we saw in the World Cup how much of a hard worker he is in midfield. Um, he's got a little bit of James Milner about him and not that kind of, you know, the James Milner, the meme of James Milner, the old James Milner that we did see at Liverpool and the back end of Man City. I'm talking about James Milner at Aston Villa when he's one of the most exciting players of his position in the league. That's why Man City went out and spent 30 million quid on him, which back in the day was a lot of money. That's because he could do everything to a very, very high level. And I think Alexis McAllister is someone that can do that. Obviously, last season scored more than 10 goals in the Premier League. Um, his pass completion rate is very, very high. I think it's 88 plus percent, which is the kind of passing range that uh, Liverpool need desperately. Um, so he can pop up with a goal. He can work hard off the ball. I think he's a humble guy. And then he's a winner. I think you've, you've signed a winner. He was paramount to uh, Argentina doing well in the World Cup, in my opinion. An Argentina side that was sort of glued together a little bit. Obviously, still had Nick Otamendi at the back. And it was a little bit of a mess at points. And, and it was obviously Messi that glued it all together up front. But Alexis McAllister shows so much quality in midfield. Uh, bringing people in. Uh, making the simple pass. Not losing the ball in high-pressure moments. Uh, and then, of course, on his day, he can go on a long, long bust and run and get into the final third and give it off to more talented players. Um, he's got a little bit of, he's, he's almost like a kind of mixture of players that we've seen at Liverpool already. He's a bit like Genie Wijnaldum for me, a bit like Jordan Henderson, um, and a bit like James Milner. He's got all of, he's got all those qualities. Let's talk about the, 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 the nature of the transfer. 35 million quid in today's market is essentially free. I mean, it's probably the interest that some of these guys are paying on loans to sign the likes of Mudrick and... Coutinho going to Barcelona. I mean, that's probably the interest rates that some of these clubs have to deal with. 35 million quid is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Um, and obviously there is a bit of stipulation about is it actually actually 35 million pounds? Is it going to raise to 50, 55? Even at 55, it's a fantastic bit of business. For his calibre, if he was English and maybe a little bit more Premier League proven, a little bit more, he'd be going for 100 million quid. Is he much worse than Declan Rice? Slightly different positions, of course. You know, is he much worse than Kovacic? Um, maybe that's a different shout, but there are a lot of similar players going, and you're, you're getting quoted 50, 60, 70 up to 100 million pounds. Mason Mount, I mean, Jesus, Mason Mount's getting quoted for 70 million quid. He's got one year left on his deal. Again, they're all very slightly different players, but Alexis McAllister is right up there for what he can do on and off the ball. Um, let's talk about Liverpool next season. They still need another midfielder, in my opinion. They still got Fabinho there, Thiago Alcantara, Jordan Henderson. They need one or two others. I don't think Harvey Elliott playing there works. I don't think Curtis Jones, even though he had a great back end of the season, is enough quality. So I think you're rotating something like Thiago, Fabinho, McAllister. 
And then I think you're looking for one more uh, uh, jewel in the crown. I think you're looking for one more uh, if you're Liverpool. If they get that right, both their fullbacks are fit all season. Alisson, Van Dijk. Maybe they need another centre-back. I'm not sure about Massive's future. It's hard. Nunes has kicked on a little bit. Gakpo's in there. Jota's in there. Salah's in there. Diaz is in there. Liverpool are forced next season. That is just the reality of it. Uh, Liverpool become the force that they were a couple of years ago when they nearly won a quadruple. Um, and don't forget, this Liverpool side is far better than the Arsenal side that challenged last season for the, for City for the, the Premier League title. Um, it's a Liverpool side that have beaten and absolutely annihilated Guardiola City in the last six years at different points, especially at Anfield. So Alexis McAllister has signed up to a project that is not just about joining Liverpool and joining a big club, which is obviously great for him, great for him personally. I think it's a, it's a move that excites so many players joining Liverpool and fair play to him he's, he's played at Brighton for four years so to go to Liverpool is an incredible achievement on his behalf uh, in his regard of course but then you look at actually the project that Jurgen Klopp is building there Alexis McAllister he just looks like smart strategic business he looks like more than squad supplementation he looks like someone that could take Liverpool on for the next three or four years I'm very interested if you're a Liverpool fan, if he starts, um, if you need more transfers, what's that kind of front three ahead of him? I can see him starting first game of the season. I think he's ready uh, with Fabinho behind him sort of thing and then another midfielder alongside him, whether that's Jordan Henderson, who knows. And then a front three, your Salah, Diaz, Gakpo. If they're all fit, it's absolutely delicious. What can I say about that? Um, in this day and age, when you're seeing Declan Rice quote for £100 million, and you can go and get Alexis McAllister for 30. It's, for me, my gut says it's 35 million pounds. It's just re, it's being read all over the internet. It's 35 million pounds. Uh, obviously, he hasn't got masses left on his contract to Brighton. Uh, I'm sure they would have loved to have kept him. And you think about Brighton, uh, it's another player that has left the club and has gone to a big, big move. Uh, look at Corella last summer, for example. Look at Ben White. They get the big moves because clubs are recognising what Brighton are doing and fair play to them fair play to Brighton um, and you've got this niggling feeling in the back of your mind that actually they'll be a, they'll be alright without McAllister I think De Zerbe will figure it out I think De Zerbe will figure it out and he, he might come in and get someone 10 times the player of McAllister um, I mean I look at Insisco who's coming in and basically you know uh, started out of nowhere in the last 6 weeks uh, of the season scored goal of the season in the Premier League Brighton's recruitment, they'll get over Alexis McAllister. Uh, and for Liverpool, they will get a player that will supplement their squad, give them depth. Um, the Europa League nights won't be nice, but he's the kind of, at the point of his career, where he can play a lot of football, Alexis McAllister. All in all, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 rating for me. It's an unbelievable bit of business. If you're a Liverpool fan, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And obviously subscribe to the channel. Tons of Istanbul Champions League content coming out.